is the first step is to be removing the air filter and uh, the cowl drain so I'll be doing that removing this you got one two three four five six a lot of times these are broke I might just snap those tabs off because mine just cracked um, so you got six eight millimeters there to start and uh, I believe you got four on here but we'll I'll get to that point when I get to that point so yeah bam okay so you got the cabin air filter off which I highly do not recommend buying a cheap cabin filter look what happens I mean this was brand new it literally has I don't know maybe 25 hours or something on it a bit less than that I mean it's it's only a week old uh, look at that shit it's all warped I mean I have another one that's to compare it with it doesn't warp like that so but anyway uh, these cases one's for the brakes the brake reservoir one's for the ECU anyway you have these little tabs then you have your uh, little air filter sensor thing I guess and then we have an eight right here to be removed um, then another eight right here and I think that's it and then you unsnap these so yep okay so you pull this pretty much out the way it's designed to get the snap out when you take the you know that cow drain or whatever the hell it is so you push this pull it off get it out of the way uh, get that air filter off then I'm gonna get this off I think it's a four uh, it might be a five none of my Allen's actually this things faded so I can't I don't know what size it is it, you figure it out it's there's four one two and then this one right here and then you got one down here which I'm not putting that one back on save save a little bit of weight with that bolt being gone I'll probably gain a good 50 horsepower so you know I, I might put an M symbol on here too because I'll get another get another 50 50 more by that just by that M symbol so but anyway first things first let's get this uh, thing cleaned out you know I mean I'll gain more from the the M emblem than I will cleaning the intake however it's a maintenance issue that needs to be assessed loosen that hose clamp loosen this hose clamp this is a turbo intake from the air filter so all right so now you got four 10 mil to push on uh, the actual idle breather hose and uh, pull that off so it's kind of a pain to do it with the camera so you get that off uh, you can do it on or off okay that's your idle control there's your throttle body gasket which I highly recommend you replacing it and um, place all your gaskets oh and this uh, the electrical to the throttle body I didn't even need to use a flathead uh, I just push down real hard on this area and it lifts that other side up to where it unnotches it and then it pops right off it was a little bit of a fiddle but it wasn't too bad and now I got before I start undoing these manifold bolts, I have this harness, uh, the electrical harness, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. There's a little notch right there, and this piece of plastic, you gotta kind of push it in and to get it out, but what I like to, okay, now that this is off, it's slipped off the, 
So now the harness slipped off the, the mount where the intake is to hold the harness in place. Uh, oil pressure, push in, pull out, pretty simple. Your mass air pressure, you just you know lift this up and pull it out. And uh, obviously we got the throttle body connection. Uh, when I took out the charge pipe, I got the temperature sensor, the intake temperature sensor, so that's out. And what else? Oh, these need to come off. You just kind of twist them off. I like to twist it. So, both these. So those will be out of the way and then you're gonna have to push those out of the way. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and I get this and I zip tie this thing out of the way onto the washing thing. So that's out of the way just for easier access. For, uh, I mean, you could use one of those, those other type swivels, but what I like to do is, which is hard to, to do it in film, but is get it on there. It's, it's swiveled on and uh, It's as simple as that. And it's cool because they have the little uh, little points on the studs to where the bolt won't just fall off. So anyway, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seventh one is actually a bolt. It's not a uh, nut. So. I don't even know if it's in focus. Doing it one hand, I got an SLR, so it's kind of a bulky camera, but I mean, this stuff's so cake, it's like, do it blindfolded. Ooh, I dropped one like a fucking idiot. So that's what I get from trying to film and work at the same time. And then this guy is down in here. Now the intake's pretty much ready to come off. Okay, that's cylinder one. That's cylinder two. It's really hard to do this with the camera in here. That's cylinder three, which these valves are pretty clean um, considering. There's four and there's five. Valves are a lot cleaner than, uh, well, not a lot, but they're, they are definitely cleaner than the one um, with 12,000 less miles. So what that's telling me is the water methanol injection, I had it on for maybe seven months. Uh, it definitely is working to clean the, the intake valves because they're a lot less gunked up than the car with 12,000 less miles. So, cause this has 47,000 um, and some change and that has 35,000 and some change. So yeah, it's definitely that methanol and water injection. Definitely. Okay, it's pretty much common sense. I, uh, I've just used some gloves, vinyl gloves and uh, just cover up the hoses because just in case the media gets around you uh, don't want to get that shit in your intake and I just plug that thing back in and yeah ready to go so you grab this right because you unplugged it you unplug the plug this so you make your own cable you just hit it right there until you uh until your valves are closed of which valve you want to walnut blast really nice electrical inline desiccant drying system and uh it's on variable so we could uh because i'm always going to be stopping and going with this so anyway Good 
to work. Turn the vacuum on. The, the fitting or adapters inside the intake, in this case it's a radiator hose because the cheap 3D printed part didn't last one job, so I'm using a radiator hose. Actually works better. Vacuum on first. Now usually I don't even have this thing on all over. What happened? A little bit of water out of there. The residual, I still am learning the process of the system. All right, it's nighttime. It took me literally all fucking day. And the reason why is because this, this fucking blaster is a piece of shit. I kept having to fiddle fuck around. This job should have took probably maybe an hour and it took fucking like, it took over seven. It's gonna be like 10 hour job, which normally it should take probably four hours. I don't know. I mean, it was a hell of a lot longer than the one I did yesterday. Uh, my one series so it's just getting harder and harder this machine fucking sucks it's it's a it's if it worked I could have had this whole thing done in an hour but you know it's like seven times longer because of that because of the machine uh, it beat my ass it, all the major shit on this car in less time than this simple fucking intake carbon cleaning job and it's all because of the subgrade equipment. So, but anyway, it's really hard to, because the shadows. So anyway, they're all, they're all clean. I don't even know where the fuck I am right here. Anyway, that's, that's, it's clean. What I like to do is I like to get a crowbar, a big crowbar, and I like to jam it right in there. And then I get a big, big sledgehammer Where's that sledgehammer? Right here. And I give that a few good hard whacks. And uh, that'll, that'll teach it to, to come off easier. So, uh, I mean, you could just gently, you know, pull it off. But I like to do things a little bit more extreme. So, uh, that's the way to do it. Uh, the only problem with that is sometimes you crack that intake, but what the hell, you can buy a new intake. What the fuck, it's only, you know, a few hundred bucks on eBay used. And, uh, yeah, fuck it, you know. I mean, it's fun. So, anyway, 